A deal's a deal. You beat my time of 347. Whenever you want to make a move with the briefcase for the Tag Team Championships, let me know. The decision is yours. And I'll use it wisely. I'm good to go if you're ready to cash in the briefcase for our Tag Team Championship match. You won the right to decide what we're doing, after all. I'm ready. No time like the present to become champions, right? But I've been thinking, as the first ever tag team briefcase holders, we need to make our cash in memorable. Something that WWE Universe will be talking about for years to come. I could not agree more. I don't want to just win the championships. I want us to be in the WWE Best Money in the Bank cash in highlight video. What are you thinking? I have two ideas. Both guaranteed to catch the champions off guard, excite the WWE Universe, and get us in that video. We could pretend to lose the briefcase again and accuse Asuka and Tamina of stealing it. That would give an enterprising tag team an opportunity to strike, especially if they found some extra security guard uniforms lying around. Interested? What's the other idea? Ever notice how the refs never actually open the briefcase to make sure the contract's inside? I think we can use that to our advantage and fake the champions out. I love the way your brain works. I'm down for either. What do you want to do? You won the choice, so it's yours. Let's fake them out with an empty briefcase. About time there were consequences for the refs not being thorough enough. I love consequences where we end up as champions. We have a great matchup in store tonight as the tag champs will be taking on Nikki A.S.H. in her formidable partner. Hold on one second. These two aren't in tonight's matchup. But they've got the Money in the Bank briefcase. Looks like they're casting in for the tag team title match right now. Seriously? That's it? No deception? Just to interrupt the scheduled match? Maybe they didn't think they needed any of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's official. The first ever tag team briefcase is being cashed in. I don't know if it's the best cashing strategy, but it's a strategy. We'll have to see if it pays off. And this first ever tag, how long did they spend coming up with this plan? Because run down and cash in before the chance have competed is not very creative. I'll admit, I've seen more calculating cash-ins in my day, but if they walk out as champions, it won't matter. A big punch! Ouch! Look at this, just unloading! Oh! Oscar turns it around. Here's her tag. Clutching the wrist. Oh my god. Torturing their opponent. Just mangling the opposition. Oh, ow. Oof. Tamina being controlled by the opposition here. Tamina has to devise a new plan here. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. The champ taking their share of hits now. A lot of energy left. Fresh partner to tag. She's in about as good a position as you can hope to be still.
exchange. Oh, beautiful teamwork right there. She's going for a suplex on the Tag Team Champion. Wait, what is Nikki A.S.H. doing here? Well, apparently she's not happy that her Tag Team Championship match was stolen. And now she's going to ruin it for the challenger. The referee's throwing the match out. The match might be over, but it seems like the now former briefcase holders have something to say. Nikki A.S.H. We had one chance to cash in our Money in the Bank contract. And you ruined it! Is what I would say if I didn't ask Nikki to do that. Wait a second, what did she say? You might be wondering, why would we ask someone to interfere and cause a disqualification during our hard-won championship opportunity? I would be wondering that. But in truth, I have never been so happy that Nikki interfered and attacked the champions, which would make them a little bit more vulnerable if they were to have to compete again tonight. And I have never been so pleased that WWE referees never look inside the briefcase to verify a cash-in. There's no contract inside. And without the contract, that's just an ordinary briefcase. That wasn't our cash-in. This is. I thought their cash-in strategy was suspect, but I take it back. This is genius. I agree, a masterful plan and a great execution from the challengers. But will it be enough? If all that doesn't throw the tag champs off their game, I don't know what will. Need a midsection. Bang to the neck. Being worn out. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Able to tag her partner. <laughs> Nasty looking inverted suplex. She bails in a hurry. She's feeling it, and the WWE Universe is feeling it too. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Big close line for the championship. And they're still in this. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Springboard, bang, right to the side of the face. Tremendous balance. Vice-like grip on the throat, up and down. Shock slam. Cover. I love this. Bionic elbow connects. Reversal, can they go on the attack? Gutsy performance. A big punch. Ouch. Watch her set up in the corner. Oh, may up right to the midsection. Oh, man. Check out this power. To the corner. Oh, I didn't go as planned there. Cut square by the haymaker. Striking down with the axe handle. right hand into Curry to the floor. 
Tamina now is being sized up. And what a cash in! Its theatricality was only exceeded by the skill these two competitors showed in the ring. Does that mean these two superstars and champions are finally on the same page? At least tonight they are, Saxton. And it looks like the new champs are soaking in every moment of this championship celebration. And after what they faced to get here, mostly each other, they deserve it.